The second race on the card is a maiden plate for fillies and mares over 1,600 metres, 1 1.6 kilometres. All things being equal, 25 to 3, 14, 35. The starter will say go. PA and Graham in this race, there are two horses here that I've found as lurkers or value selections for the places, but we'll touch on them in a moment. Anton Marcus's ride number three, backstop for Tony Riverland, has to, you know, warrants obvious respect. 1600 meters, I think this path fork filly will be suited to the extra, the mile. But I quite like horse number 14, Fly Me Free. Now, I know she's drawn out deep. It's a blinker strike. Anton rode her last time. He also rode, uh, well, he didn't ride backstop last time, but he would have had the choice of rides here. Yes, the draw is a concern, but I like the way she's been coming along this uh, flying the flag filly. I think she's the one they have to beat. She ranks only as my third choice. I think the draw is a bit of a put off. I also think the form behind Miss Caruso might be a bit weak. She does uh, come from the poly track back to the turf track. She's only had once a couple of starts on the turf track, which weren't bad, and she is improving. So yes, I do respect the chances of number 14 fly me free, but I make number three backstop one of the best bets on the card. Even before she ran, she came with a bit of a reputation. Uh, there was market support first time out when she ran a bit green and was only Three lengths off Viso's Magic. She showed further improvement over 1,400 metres and uh, I agree with your opening comments that the extra 200 metres will be right up her alley. She's got a neat draw. I think they're going to have to go some to beat number three backstop. She does have a firm market rival in the form of number two Free State Star. Now it's interesting. Lyle Hewitson rode backstop last time, now rides Free State Star. As you say, Anton Marcus uh, rode Fly Me Free last time, now rides Backstop, so they're pay, playing a bit of musical chairs. But I, th I believe number three Backstop is probably one of the better bets in the card. But I do have respect for both two Free State Star and 14, uh, your fancy Fly Me Free. Yes, Backstop, certainly my numbers are 14 uh, Fly Me Free from three Backstop. And then my two uh, Lurkers, which I'm going to touch on in a moment, they are eight. Siberian Sunset and 13 Laurel Lane and we'll get back to those in a moment. Yeah, two runs for backstop, certainly bright chance. I'm not saying that she can't win. She's got a huge winning chance. She's my second choice. I've just gone for a little bit of, of value, if that's the right word to use. Blinker strike for fly me free. Yes, the draw is a concern, but by no means a good thing. Graham, free state star, disappointed last time. I thought she would do a lot better than her fifth behind Ideal Jet. Ideal Jet runs later on this afternoon. This, of course, is a recorded show. And I know that the Yard do quite rate Ideal Jet. So let's see how that form line will, would have worked or not worked by the time you get to watch this production. My two lurkers, 8 Siberian Sunset and 13 Laurel Lane. I just feel they're never too far off the action. Uh, Siberian Sunset uh, relocated to the uh, Nathan Cotson stable. I'm expecting some improvement there. Laurel Lane never runs a shocking race. Tapiso Gomede takes weight off. I'm certainly going to include these two fillies in the back end of my quartet. Do you think I'm mad? No, certainly when you're starting to fill up the back end of the quartets, horses like uh, the two you've mentioned, plus number six, Reckless Love, and also number seven, Captive Gold. Now, she, uh, Duncan Howells, has often said that she'd prefer the turf to the poly track. Her last two runs have both been on the poly track. She could improve. I know she is the stable companion to number 13, Laurel Lane. So both of Duncan Howells' runners, those being seven captive gold and 13, Laurel Lane, have, be, have to be considered for the back end of quartets. Number six, Reckless Love, has found a little bit of early support in the anti-post market from 10 to one into eight to one. Three backstop is the firm favorite at two to one with number two, Free State Star, 28 to 10. And just so as you know, number 14, Fly Me Free, relatively easy to back at 7 to 1. You're in the camp of number 14, Fly Me Free. I'm very strongly in the camp of number 3, Backstop. I think she's one of the better bets on the card.